Hey, Maxim here. As you can see, I'm outside today. Uh, today gonna be kind of a bit strange one because I won't be actually talking much. It's more a uh, procedure that I will be doing. Um, so I had a video on letting go of attachments and letting go of like need to be in a relationship uh, but um, a friend of mine, uh, Leona Volos, uh, had a, a cleansing uh, session uh, like this Sunday and one of her uh, students mentioned that thing which was uh, really interesting to me that if when you were in a relationship and you have certain physical things left from that relationship and that could be jewelry or something that your partner ga gave to you uh, depending on how valuable those things to you uh, you either cleanse them with fire which is the ultimate cleansing and that's ultimate letting go of attachment because you don't have a thing anymore then <laughs> and um, uh, the other thing is you you do a ritual on it and you cleanse it first and the same thing goes to second hand stores and I, that's why I, uh, that's why like I was like oh before I would be like oh, okay whatever but I remember my experience in the second hand store after I started working with uh, my ex partner Lena on drugasm and uh, Going to a second horror is really hard because you feel all the... Uh, you almost feel like all the people who wear the clothes and you go into the store and you're just like, ah, ah, this is gross. Um, because you're just picking up everything there and it's too much. Your body just doesn't feel good. So when, uh, when she was talking about the fire, my I remember that... And my uh, Elena, she used to like uh, burn things every time we move. She used to burn her hair and burn some letters and things like this as a ritual. And I was always like, I don't know, whatever. Like, not something I do, but okay, it's her ritual, like, whatever. And uh, uh, I've realized that when she was talking through this, I had this really strong conflict inside of me, which is like, I feel like I let go, but at the same time, there is those certain sort of physical things which are still there, and uh, they still like if I throw with them, they're gonna bring all the things, and it just not just memories. The memories are the things I wanna keep, but they also bring all. The negative energy, like the old physical items, especially like jewelry and stuff, they accumulate negative stuff, and this is why secondhand stores are a bit off. Uh, so I decided today is the day. It's the twenty-first day, so today is the day when I'm gonna let go of physical attachments. Uh, so I'm gonna start with. Uh, I have this whole bag which uh, Lena gave it to me on Christmas, I think. It says here, every rose has its thorn. I don't know why she said thorn. It's kind of funny to me. Like, I was reading it that and like, it should be thorns, not thorn, but... <laughs> so, it has a bunch of things which are... Uh, which are memories and also which are physical items so uh, some of them are so I'll start probably with the easiest ones and I'm just gonna my intention like I would like to set the intention for this is not to let go of memories because the memories that I had about this moment were beautiful my intention is to leave the memories but let go of attachment let go of um, all the tension which was there at any time and that those things went through with me and 
just let make space make space for a new for new relationships in my life and they can be with those people who are on those pictures but they can be with the new people it doesn't matter it's just that those this journey which i had in the last nine months is now complete and it's time to complete it fully so so the first thing is this uh, the spending of mine which is that's me i know my paintings like <laughs> it's me elena and our friend ben when he visited us in calgary and that's kind of for me is the embodiment of uh, our community there. Ben uh, was such a great friend of us there and then we left and the whole community uh, kind of dissipated and it was very sad to see and Ben left and he moved to different city especially like bringing connection with him was really hard for both me and Lena so thank you Ben hope to create a new relationship with you at some point when I'm back in Canada. <sighs> okay. That was the easy part. Now it's gonna be a hard though. So... It's really hard to pick which one. Probably this one. You might have seen this photo if you watched the Villena's video in mine, it was part of my altar. So, uh, this is the place, Spain, Benicassim, where our conscious relationship ended and we transitioned to being subconscious and where we didn't meet our needs anymore. Which is was last two months, and uh, that's what led to transitioning to just friendship now. And that thing is what Alex made. He made himself a phone. <laughs> so he had an iPhone with games, and he was trying to take a selfie on the phone, and we were taking selfie on our phone. It was, it was great memory, and uh, there's a lot of tension in this space, in particular. Uh, Like that house, an amazing place where we got for like 300 euros, which was a beautiful house. And the only, the only big issue which we didn't know about was that there's no one there, so there's lack of community, which was causing a lot of troubles in that place. Like, it was very hard to find friends for anyone. <laughs> harder to do than I thought. <laughs> okay. Next one from the same place, same place Benicassim. <laughs> it's me and Alex and uh, for me this picture is interesting because I, when I was imagining myself as a parent I thought like hey that would be cool to be a parent and maybe I can read like comics with my kid and, and play video games because like then you're, you're dead and you can do that right and that uh, I was me doing a move from Naruto, which is the comics I was reading with Alex. Uh, in I started reading it in there in in Benicassim. That was an amazing experience. Thank you, Alex.
Okay. So I talked to this photo with Lena about. You can see that there's like a, the expression on Lena's face here is, as she said, it's an embodiment of the fact that it the laugh is so strong that it actually hurts. And at that point, it was hurting because I think she was realizing that this was conflicting with her own needs and that she's gonna need to let go of that. Thank you, Lena. What a beautiful experience. This thing. It's a letter from Alex. I think Elena wrote this. Uh, and it says, I love you, Max, and I wish you have a good dream tonight. In bed, you'll sleep and what you dream will about. And good dreams. And there is a word you have to guess. It has three letters. Open the cards for your hint. Ready? And it has this. I'm just taking a picture of it in case I don't have electronic copy. At any point in time, I want to remember it. <laughs> but because this was written on the New Year, New Year around Christmas actually, when I arrived back and it was a really hard time for our relationship and uh, Alex was being very patient with us to try to navigate the difficult times. Thank you Alex. Okay. Two more, I think. Actually, three more. There's one difficult one here, too. So, as Elena said, this is the time of me being a dad for Alex. <laughs> she calls this the dead moment. And yeah, it was. It was. It was. It was. It was. Uh, interesting is not the word. It was it was life changing to being able to be a dad. Thank you, Alex, for accepting me in your life. Only wish I could be there longer. This picture is has a writing on the back. This was the same Christmas thing. It says, So many beautiful memories. Thank you, Max, for coming into my life and making for the last year one possibility of romance and love. Here's so many more days and nights as friends, lovers, fellow adventurers and old. With so much love and gratitude. Love, Elena. December 25, 2016. I think that was a goodbye, Nana. That was a goodbye. And for me, one of the things about this picture is that Alex is here, and it's actually one, the only picture I have of three of us, like in the physical form. And uh, there was a lot of com like conversation between us about how much of our relationship was based around me being good with Alex and this is a bunny middle death. This is that fear that 
and they'll come up within us multiple times, which is maybe I'm just here with you because of my son. I don't think it was like this, Elena. Thank you for this. I still keep the memories. But on December 25th, there was a lot of stuff there. <laughs> it's time we'll go with that. And finally this, I purchased this for myself actually, as a style thing, like style accessory. I never thought it was going to become anything else. And what it became, it became a symbol for our relationship, it became a symbol of continuous commitment. And us proposing to each other every day with this, I did this with this, and Lena had her own. And... Uh, this continuous commitment ends. Now we're just friends. Our romantic relationship ends. It's a beautiful tradition. And it's time to let go of it. As much as I like this bracelet, it has way too much in it. So I'm just gonna put it here. It's probably gonna take some time to melt uh, and stuff. And I have decided that I'm gonna find something as pure as possible, as we call it the pure joy. And uh, this Lena gifted it to me, and it says, Love, an inspired form of giving. Love breathes life into the heart and brings grace to the soul. <laughs> this is beautiful. And this is, has a sticker on the back which it says, Cobalt, think outside of the boat. The place where we met, which was an amazing place. So I will keep that one as a memory of the love, because the love will not change. My love for you, Lena, won't change. It's just our status has changed. And uh, finally, this is my favorite photo of us. And I've decided to keep one physical item. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna uh, use some sage after this is done to cleanse it. So there's one more thing here. It's uh, it's the business that we had together, which is called Joygasm. And I sold the cards. I was a co-founder there. I we did the business together, so this business is now, I'm not a co-founder there anymore. I wish all the best to you, Lena, in that business. It's, it's an amazing thing you're doing, and I will share it with as many people as I can over time, but I won't be as involved as I was at some point. And this is the symbol of my involvement at that time. I almost burn my fingers while doing this. <laughs> I'm not sure it's gonna burn the actual case because the case is metal, but <sighs> I think I'll do orgasm too. And this was the present for the for the which was on the same Christmas. Way too much stuff there. Let's go in here too. So I'll wait for this to finish and then do the, the sage cleansing later. Uh, but I've realized there's one big thing which is actually a clothing item from it's this. It used to be sweater. I kind of made it not a sweater anymore <laughs> because otherwise it's not gonna burn. So. I'm just going to tell the story while I'm burning each piece. Uh, that sweater was presented by Petra, a friend of Elena, who she loves a lot. And uh, 
that sweater uh, is uh, has a lot of memories and a lot of moments where I felt like I'm like even at that night when the sweater was actually presented to Elena, we had a conflict. That was our second co big conflict. Uh, like the second big trigger, as I as I call it, which is around the fact that uh, I think it was sharing of joy or something like this. I don't know what the sweater is made from, but it burns really bad. Uh, seems like a rubber or something. Uh, yeah, so that that night we had our second biggest probably conflict and because I was trying to push Elena to share orgasm well she didn't want and I embodied the the voice inside her head which is you are not brave enough. You're not brave enough to share it and I'm sorry Elena for doing that. Uh but you know it needed to be done for you to see so but that was done in that sweater and I also danced like crazy in that sweater so and I stopped so I stopped and I felt like a lot of the reasons I stopped why was that I felt like I needed to do this again only in that sweater only with, with Lena but the reality is if I want to dance I need to dance by myself and if someone wants to join, they're welcome to do that. <laughs> so that's why it's going to take a while to burn. And it's like, it's quite a big one. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> the funny story about the sweater is actually that uh, Elena, it was presented to Elena, right? Not to me. And Elena didn't like it. And I was like, oh, that looks cool. It's kind of funny. And uh, I don't know, we're in a festival anyway. Who cares? Like in a festival, you can do such things. But I actually used it outside of the festival space. <laughs> Which is kind of silly. But like every time I go somewhere in that sweater, people are like, hey, nice sweater. <laughs> so at least they notice. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, and it's kind of like also uh, is this... Uh, mm, not a, I have this memo which is like GFDI, right? But also the second part of it is like don't give a shit about what other people tell you or think. And wearing that sweater is exactly that because uh, like you couldn't give less shit if you're wearing it because it's it's horrendous. So it's almost done. It burns really strangely it feels like it's made from like some kind of rubber or plastic or something because <laughs> it burns with like this black smoke which is not a fabric smoke for sure you can see this like this, this is fire from the sweater so it's quite intense whoa okay and the last piece So while it's burning, uh, there's, again, the sweater has one more memory, and that, that the part is the JDI thing, and ability to go beyond what other people think. So for that, for that memory, I'm gonna keep that cat. <laughs> I kept this cat, and this cat is a presentation of that. The love. And... How happy we were the time, because that uh, that time me and Elena was we were really aligned. We were just starting out on, on doing orgasm and just starting an our old trip, and it was amazing. Burns really bright, <laughs> and yeah, this is it. This is the end of that romantic relationship, and the end of my attachment to it on uh, physical items. I'll keep the memories with me, just so that I can 
sometimes go through them and remember them, but... It's done. It's really hard. It's like, it's very hard inside because I feel like I made a mistake and I'm like, oh, I'm going to regret this. But at the same time, I know this is what I need to do. So. <sighs> okay. Yeah. So I invite you if you just uh, left the relationship or you have left the relationship for a while. You have a lot of physical items from your beloved at the time especially if you if you left not really good terms i would consider doing something about it and uh there is a procedures where you don't burn it uh you use sage and other things you can find them on google or i'll probably put some links in the video and yeah clean those items and the same goes to second hand one the cleansing on them and removing all the energy from other people uh, will help you to be more grounded within yourself. <sighs> Thank you for watching. Maxim out.